listening to the Daily Meditation Podcast, Episode 20. Welcome to the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Meckley, and I want to let you know that it's such an honor to have you here, spending part of your day meditating. I honor you for doing this for yourself, for giving yourself permission to connect to the best part of who you are. In today's episode, you're going to be guided in a meditation to help you release negative thoughts. Now, this is a daily meditation podcast, so every week we focus on a theme, and the theme this week is releasing negative thoughts that no longer support you. And this series began in episode 16, and every day this week we have been focusing on a different meditation technique to help release negative thoughts. And if you've been with me in the previous episodes this week, you will have heard me say research has shown that a full 80% of our thoughts each day are actually negative thoughts. So this is a very important series that you're exploring this week with releasing the thoughts that no longer support you. In this episode, you will be guided through a meditation as well as I'm going to give you information on how you can use an herbal tea called Skullcap Tea to support yourself. Now, every Friday, if you're listening to this in sequence, today is a Friday. If not, no worries at all. You can listen to these meditations anytime that you want to listen to them. I do send out a full week's worth of meditation every Sunday in my weekly resource called Instant Ohm. And if you'd like to receive this weekly resource, you'll receive the full release of meditations every week, as well as a weekly slowdown guide where I include all the meditations that I use. Head over to www.sipandohm.com if you'd like to receive the slowdown guide with this week's techniques. And also, if you want to receive a meditation bundle, it's complimentary, my gift to you. And in that meditation bundle, it includes a free meditation journal and a guide to affirmations that actually work. There are certain ways to create affirmations, and I've created some for you that you can use right away that are very effective. You'll also receive an herbal guide, an herbal tea guide of top herbal teas for stress relief. So every Friday, which as I mentioned, if you're listening to this in sequence, is sip and om meditation. And I always guide you through a meditation where it's a culmination of all the different techniques we've been exploring this entire week, as well as provide you with a, hopefully a new herbal tea that you're not yet introduced to so that you can discover all the different ways herbs can support you. Today's tea is Skullcap Tea, and I wanna let you know some ways that you can use Skullcap. Skullcap is an herb that has a funny name, but don't let its odd name scare you off. If you've been experiencing stress for way too long, Skullcap may be just the herb for you. So a lot of the herbs that I mentioned can be just as effective as the meditation techniques that I give you. And this herb got its unusual name from the early North American settlers who called the caps that the military soldiers wore back then over their heads skull caps because they thought that the caps resembled the flower of this herb. And skull cap covers forests and swamplands of the eastern United States. It was used by the early settlers as a cure for rabies. And these days, you'll find skullcap used as a sedative to reduce stress. It's also used to treat menstrual cramps and to relieve anxiety, nightmares, insomnia, shortness of breath, and heart palpitations. This is an herb that you won't likely find on the shelves of your local grocery store You might, but if you don't live in an area where you receive a lot of different selections of herbs, 
You might need to order this one from an online store or go to a natural organic food store. You might find it there. If you go over to www.sipanome.com and look at episodes 16 through 21, Meditations to Reduce Negative Thinking, you'll find a link for a recipe to Skullcap Tea and other ways that it can help support you. So let's go ahead and start the meditation. In today's meditation, you'll be guided through all the techniques we've used this week. So let's get started. Sit up straight, relax your whole body. Your spine is straight, relax your face, your jaw, feel tension melt off your shoulders. Feel your stomach soften as you release tension there and start to notice your breath. You're honoring exactly where you are, not trying to force your breath in any way, just going with exactly where you are right now. You're pulling away from all the distractions around you and you're starting to interiorize and go deep within yourself. This can take a while. You get better and better at it the more you meditate. But this is your transition time from your busy day to meditation. When you start to feel distracted, Return to your breath. You can do the mudra that we did this week. To do the mudra, you simply clasp your hands in front of you. So your fingers are intertwined and your thumbs are crossed. Extend your pointing fingers out so they're pressed together and then stretch your hands and fingers downward pointing at your feet or at your knees you might need to straighten your arms out as you do this mudra we'll go ahead and inhale seven breaths as you do this mudra which detoxifies and cleanses you as you release negative emotions. This mudra is called the Kesapana Mudra. And again, you can see exactly how to do it on this week's slow down guide for this episode. We're going to inhale and exhale for seven breaths. You can do this mudra for seven to 15 breaths. We'll do it for seven breaths. And on each exhale, really focus and releasing. This mudra helps with elimination of your large intestine, your lungs, your skin. Go ahead and begin your seven breaths. If you don't want to do the mudra, no worries at all. You can still inhale and exhale for seven breaths, focusing on releasing all negative thoughts and tension and fear, regret, all those things that hold you back. On the exhale, focus on that. Begin seven breaths. Inhale and exhale. Notice how you feel and take three deep cleansing breaths. 
after all that releasing, you want to fill your body again with supportive, positive oxygen and breaths. Notice any tension and gently release it. And notice where you feel calm. We'll repeat this week's affirmation. I release negative thoughts that hold me back. Make sure your spine is straight, your body's relaxed. If you can repeat this out loud with me, that's great. If not, repeat it silently. I release negative thoughts that hold me back. I release negative thoughts that hold me back. I release negative thoughts that hold me back. Going to guide you through this week's breathing technique, which you can find in episode 17. Your spine is straight, your body's relaxed, always checking in and noticing how you feel. I want you to think of three positive qualities about yourself, your strengths, things you're good at, or things you wish you were good at or that you aspire to. Just choose the first three that come into your mind. With this first breath, you're going to take the first quality that you notice about yourself that you want to aspire to. And you're going to inhale that and absorb it deeply as you inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to release any doubt that you may have associated with this quality that you want to attribute to yourself. So let's begin inhaling a deep breath, absorbing that quality about you, exhaling tension, fear, and notice how you feel. Think of the second quality about yourself, something you're good at, something you're known for. Inhale, absorbing that deeply, repeating it to yourself. Exhale, releasing negative thoughts, regrets, fear. And notice how you feel. Now think of the third quality about yourself. Inhale that, absorbing it deeply, repeating it to yourself. Exhale any regret. And notice how you feel. Inhale and exhale, noticing your breath, noticing a sense of calmness, always honoring how you feel. I've so enjoyed sharing this meditation series with you on releasing negative thoughts. Tomorrow you'll be guided in a nature walk. Continue meditating for as long as you feel joy doing it. And always remember you are so worth slowing down for. I invite you to join me on a 100-day meditation quest. 
every week you'll receive an email with seven meditations, one for each day of the week based on a theme for the week to give you more peace, energy, and clarity in your life. If you'd like to join me on this free 100-day meditation quest, go ahead and click on the link that you see there in the description right below this video. And if you'd like to subscribe to this YouTube channel, go ahead and click on the yellow button that you see right here. Thank you for listening. And as always, you are so worth slowing down for.